Yo, Derek. Oh, hey, what? Can you teach me what a double bottom is? The bottom, sure. So, a double bottom is oftentimes referred to as a W pattern because it's gonna look like the letter W. So, a double bottom, again, is an example of a reversal pattern. So, if it's a reversal pattern, it means I'm gonna go from a trend in one direction and I'm gonna end with a trend in the other direction. So, I've got my stock and it's trending down. So, I've got a pattern of lower highs and lower lows. It finds support and it gives a nice bounce. Usually, there's a little bit of consolidation in that bounce and then it comes back down to that same support level. It's not atypical for it to break that, that first low, but maybe just a little bit to shake a bunch of people out, and then it works its way back up. You have, a con con you have confirmation of a double bottom when the midpoint breaks. So that, to go back to our, our, our letter W here, the midpoint right here. When that breaks, you have confirmation that your double bottom is intact and you have gone uh, from a pattern of lower highs and lower lows to a pattern of higher highs and higher lows. We also have double tops. is another example of a reversal pattern. It's the same thing in reverse. It's oftentimes referred to as an M pattern because it looks like the letter M. So same thing, my uptrend finds resistance, pulls back, comes back up into that resistance, and then pulls down when you break this low, bam, double top off of resistance, and I have a reversal from a trend higher to a trend lower. There you go, double tops and double bottoms.